Hanging over the Apurimac River in southern Peru is one of the great engineering feats of the ancient world. The Incan road system was one of the great road systems of antiquity, second maybe only to the Roman road system. It covered 25,000 miles, was in use for over 400 years, and ran from Quito, Ecuador down to Santiago, Chile. But to have a truly great road system, you need great bridges. And the Incans had a particular way of building bridges. They didn't build them out of metal or make them out of stone. They wove them from grass. There's only one remaining Incan bridge today. It's called the Quechua Chaca. 300 years before Europe mastered the suspension bridge, the Inca were building bridges that were 150 feet long. When the Spanish first arrived in South America, they called them the devil's work and were so scared to cross them that they would crawl on their belly the entire way. It doesn't look like the sturdiest thing. In fact, the bridges are incredibly strong. An MIT professor had his students uh, create one of these bridges out of twine and found that they could hold over 4,000 pounds of tension, uh, or roughly about 56 people spaced evenly across a 60-foot span. There used to be hundreds of these bridges as part of the Incan road system. Each bridge was overseen by a bridge master. Among other things, the, the bridge master was responsible for maintaining the bridge, uh, collecting tolls, and for helping people uh, across when they had livestock or they needed some assistance. Today, the last Incan bridge, the Quechua Chaca, is overseen by the last bridge master, a guy named Victoriano. I was lucky enough in 2010 to meet Victoriano and he showed me how he goes about making a bridge. Now this process is incredibly time consuming. They take this grass that, that grows abundantly all around and they wet it with a little water and they rub it together in their hands and then they sort of slowly twist it into twine, weaving those together into larger ropes, which you can imagine uh, how much time and effort it would take to basically weave what essentially is like hay into uh, a cable that's, you know, this wide around. Once a bridge has reached the end of its useful life, it will be either cut down and thrown into the river below, or with a little more pomp and circumstance, uh, it'll be set on fire. And then a celebration is held, and it's also the chance to weave a new bridge. And each household is in fact responsible for 90 feet of woven rope. It's kind of an amazing idea, right? Like instead of sort of making one monumental structure, that's there forever and you kind of wait to, for it to fall down one day. They are in this constant process of renewal. Even though it's been there for 500 years, it's actually been 500 different bridges over that time. And it is this cyclical recreation, this reaffirming of that culture that makes it a real living, breathing piece of history. So, well, a new metal bridge has been installed just up the river from the Quechua Chaca. It's still rewoven every year, and it remains a tiny little piece of the Incan road system that's in perfect working order. To subscribe, click here, uh, and to see more videos, click here. One of the things that's so interesting about the, the Incan Empire, they almost took this alternate technological path. They didn't have iron, they didn't have the wheel really, no, no arch, but what they did have was, was fiber. They had an incredible mastery of fiber. They built boats out of fiber. They built uh, armor out of fiber, which was as strong pound for pound as the steel that conquistadors wore. And they even had an incredibly complex uh, language out of fiber called the uh, quipo. They kept uh, you know, taxes in this knotted set of fibers. They kept uh, demographic data or census data about how many people lived in what town, how old they were. Uh, they kept all kinds of financial records. It was this really masterful system. You know, you can almost imagine a path where they continued along this line and they just continued to invent and refine uses of fiber. Maybe perhaps there are things that would have been invented that we cannot even imagine that were all based in this kind of uh, fibrous uh, technological focus.